random common relic. Guardian start. Hmm. That's the best path I can see off the top of my head. Early shop could be okay. I could see this being actually any of these. Even the Transform 2 looks pretty reasonable here. Chronometrics has been absolutely crushing it at Slice and Dice. He got, what, a, a 20 streak or more on Unfair, which is truly legendary. Everybody else is still trying to figure out how to win once or twice on Unfair. He's just crushing it. Streak. 20 consecutive. It was a reset with a special request. Whoa. <clears throat> fair and fair, it says, before the next run, can we have a moment of positivity? Start by saying you got married recently. Sure. Been a long time since we've encouraged some positive vibes in the channel. What's going on in your lives that's good? What good news do you have? What positive vibes have you had recently? Whether it's a big moment like uh, a major life event that you want to share or something small like a sandwich you really enjoyed. Now's the time to share something in Twitch chat that made you smile today. What do you got? Let's spread some love and warmth and positivity around. Kokiak just got their engagement photos done. Yeah, another congrats to Farron Ferret on the wedding. Charnan's wife got her book confirmed to be published. Shrew has been reflecting on the fact that their mental health has improved greatly over the last three months or so. That's that's good news. I've certainly I've lately been reflecting on the fact that the stream as a as an endeavor has grown gargantuanly over the last year. Just, just truly absurdly to the point where I don't have any day-to-day uh, -day worries about my expenses or anything like that. It's, it's a good feeling. Coaxer had a sandwich with sriracha mayo. Tasty. Odor gonna be a parent soon. Best of luck and congrats. Dios Dong eating a really good cinnamon roll right now. Heck yeah. Nerd Busta went to the gym for the first time in months. Getting back out there. The question crushed their army fitness test. Congrats. Smitty celebrating their three year anniversary. Here's to many more for you and yours. Kron says, just saw my family for the first time since Christmas and everybody was commenting on how they're down 20 plus pounds this year. The weight loss journey. Good stuff. Black Dragonfly's writing career is picking up, getting more opportunities. Oiski also going to be a parent. Congrats. Eternal Jester got back from attending a board game convention. I don't know, I feel like I'd be kind of bored if I went. No, that sounds great. Like a total blast. I would love to go to a board game convention sometime. Tassery has been learning piano for about a year and recently learned the intro to City of Tears. What a beautiful uh, tune that is. Scribbles, now a grandparent. A little kid always does well as time goes on. Piece of pie. Yeah. Congrats to all the new parents. Cross up MK taking in a re Ukrainian refugee in the next couple of weeks. That is, that's a, a truly kind thing of you to do. Cheesy Wiz learned to crochet recently. I have an adorable penguin and an adorable turtle and made an adorable narwhal for the girlfriend. That's heckin' cute. Just being able to, with your own hands, create something that you can uh, gift to people or decorate your house with is, is awesome. Underpants has got through a grueling five-hour test. I think the only test I ever took that that was that long was the SAT. That's a that's quite a stressful experience. Nekrathal's got a delicious bag of goldfish crackers. Heck yeah. Yarakthine got a hug recently. Cool. Cozy. Notice B had their first therapy. Good first session of therapy. Keep at it. Nothing, nothing ever got built or solved or cured in a day. One session is only the beginning. 
Just a general congrats from Mario Speedwagon. Love it. Icky Monster says, I baked a pie for pie day today, and it was tasty. It is 3.14. Happy pie day, folks. Gregory's fam got a chinchilla that's heckin' cute. Oh my. Those things are adorable. Ronigal says, my mom just got into contact with her sister by blood at the age of 70. No time like the present. Denny Boy says, yesterday moved from Austria to Berlin to start their first job after university. Good luck. It's quite a journey. DKV says, my wife and I are traveling back to her home country this summer for the first time in five years now that travel restrictions are lifted. Imagine, uh, must be quite homesick after that much time. I recently went back to my own, um, my own home in, uh, Alberta, Canada for the first time since COVID likewise, uh, just a couple months ago. That was quite a, quite a journey to go back after so long. Hey, grats on the, the heart wind, Alexander bit blit. Finally caved and downloaded Spire. It's a fun game. It's uh, it's a very addicting. Very, very addicting. The cool thing, the really cool thing about Spire to me is that you can watch every video I've ever made about Slay the Spire, then download the game yourself and play a run that's unlike any of the ones you watched. Drunk Bunny says, I've been working out and eating right this year, and this weekend you saw some friends for the first time since December, and they complimented you. That's great. Compliments from other folks don't always come, uh, don't come often all that time, but uh, they, they do feel really good, especially when it's something that you care about for yourself. It feels really good to get a compliment like that. <clears throat> Skyfish enjoying job and life, hey! Good stuff. Xyothin says, I ordered 37 volumes of Berserk that just came in. Oh, man. Here's a binge read for you. Didigo in chat says they... Are being treated for ADHD and the treatment has really improved their life. Self-esteem hasn't been this good since they can remember. That's huge. Feeling uh, normal or, or capable is it's a big mental health boost when when you can you can do what you set out to do successfully. Finally, beat Noita for the first time after 130 hours. Yeah, that sounds about about right for that game. What a merciless, merciless game Noita is. Everything can be going so well, but you... You slip up for one second. You get crushed by some rocks, it's all over. Damn, Jeb, gonna graduate this summer? Heck yeah. Darkstalker Drago. All right, uh, an uh, oldie but a goodie. A science joke, a favorite of mine for the moment of positivity here. Two atoms are sitting next to each other in a bar. One turns to the other and says, Oh my god, I've lost an electron. Are you sure? replies the other one. I'm positive, states the first. Boss Corgi says, my wife secured a reservation at a two Michelin star restaurant for your birthday. Hey, hope you have an awesome birthday trip, date, meal. Spirix just returned for four month trip to Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, and Tokyo. Wow, what a trip. The whole uh, Pacific Island tour, sort of, or coast tour. Did Teddy, thanks for... 24 months, two happy years of support. John Art got a new awesome job after searching for one and a half years. Wow. Scott Wins booked Egypt for their 30th birthday. Nikki T says in one and a half months, my new job is one and a half months in at their new job, and it's going really well. Two at ran a 5K. Biggle B just happy to be healthy again. 
Chef Long Weenie got into medical school. Congrats. Dang. I remember having breaks during, uh, all day testing. It was like two hour blocks. Definitely wanted to hold it during the, the main testing periods, though. Antwok, thanks for 10 months of support. Major boss fight in your D&D homebrew campaign. Ooh. No TPK, here's hoping. Clerky Turkey just started a new job. It's going really well. Heck yeah. A cat sized Terrasque? Miniature? That is. pretty excessive. <laughs> Love to see that thing you just get like slapped on the table by the DM. Glorious. <clears throat> Camel Crush, thanks for 20 months of support. How many cool headed cards is too many? Like four or five. Fluffy Mittens, thanks for three years. Tell us something interesting about Krypton. This 36th element. Of the periodic table. Oof, can I remember my Krypton facts? We did a, uh, a series on all the elements on stream a long time ago. So I looked up facts related to everything. Do I remember anything specific about Krypton specifically? I don't think I do. One of the things I learned when looking up all of the different elements on the periodic table um, was that some of them are so similar to each other that even the scientists who study them as for a living, struggle to come up with interesting things to say about them. Some of the elements are just so boring that no one can describe them in amusing terms. That's just science. My chemist, I used to be. I have a, a, just a bachelor's degree in chemistry. Worked in a couple chemistry jobs for a few years before deciding to, to ditch the whole thing and play video games instead. And uh, that was definitely the right choice for me. That's why I love the potions. Or a haiku ode to neon once. Yeah, I, chemistry poetry, I like that. So, a little bit more back to the present here. With less elites and more fires, Transform 2 does seem like a pretty good start, actually. Let's let's try a take 18 damage Transform 2 strike start on Ironclad. Ooh, Burning Pact Second Wind in lieu of Strike Strike definitely incentivizes any kind of exhaust energy we can get our hands on. I think that's pretty cool. Doesn't that mean the boring elements are indeed interesting because they're so boring? That is kind of remarkable in and of itself, right? Need some damage now? Now we just need one anger. Just one. Fair enough. Hmm. Classic. This is only seventeen damage. Wow, what a bad fight. However, the Heart of Iron should actually pretty much mostly make up for that. What a fire breathing. Our act boss is not adding statuses, so I don't think this is the time. But blood for blood, though. That can do a lot of work. Early game ironclad. Let's take it. Blood for Blood gets cheaper each time we take damage, although it initially starts at a very high cost. <laughs> That's a funny theorem, Harry Oz. No number is boring, because that would therefore make it the first of the non-boring numbers, or the first of the boring numbers, uh, subset. Making it therefore interesting. Brilliant. John Worm is out to get me today. Hmm. Very unlikely that Burning Pact will 
allow me to block more than just playing second wind, so I think we just play second wind bash, kill next turn. Hasn't exactly been great watching our health plummet so rapidly here. However, we get some premium cards. Headbutt, Shrug, Battle Trance are all awesome. Very awesome. Alright, here second wind can full block. But then we only get to play one strike. I guess that'll have to do. Good. This is fine. They can't both attack me next turn. This one has to do something else. Alright, get a little bit of our health back at least. Headbutt. Decent damage, very, very good combo with Battle Trance. I really like being able to headbutt Battle Trance back on top of the deck. It's good. And it's looking more and more likely that I'm going to dip into this shop. And do something crazy like remove another card. Oh. Or I can take the Serpent Curse, remove that Serpent Curse, and buy a Relic. I like that even more. Yeah, let's do that. Give me Brimstone. Toolbox. Or White Bee Statue. Hmm. Toolbox is pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. Gives us uh, one of three random colorless cards we get to choose. Makes our turn one better on average, which is always, always welcome. Yeah. Let's buy the toolbox. Thank you, Snake. Do we add a cleave for a little bit of AoE? It's nice to have. Feels like we can probably just take something that we get dropped from an enemy, though. Toolbox assisted run. That's right. We could also buy a fire potion. Fire Potion is pretty nice, considering we don't actually have that much health. And our next fight is an Elite. Alright. Seems like a good idea. Mostly need to upgrade Blood for Blood first. It improves the damage, but more importantly discounts the price such that we can play it even if we haven't taken damage yet. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Do some fun card exhausting here. I think I'm just going to play Bash, and we'll wake up next turn with the Blood for Blood here. Perfect. Hmm.
think the way to use uh, to do this fight is to use the Heart of Iron here. I do this. One damage short. Bummer. Looks like I might have to use the fire potion then. Or maybe blood for blood, headbutt, blood for blood, skip, forget the hand agree. That would work too. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's how we do it. Click. <laughs> but the money. But the hit points. The hit points are all we need, unfortunately. Hmm. Show me headbutt. Bummer. This is why I like headbutt and battle trends together. You can do nonsense like this. Just draw eight cards every turn. Really good reason to upgrade the battle trends, too. Um, we don't need these. Attack cards are for nerds who don't have a bag of prep, bag of marbles, bag of tools, and an upgraded battle trance. Bag build, go! Ooh, bomb build, go! Although, turn one. Um, give me this instead. Hard draw card. Definitely welcome. Wild Strike's kind of interesting. We could get rid of the status pretty easily. 
armaments to upgrade, the cards that we're drawing repeatedly. Also, not too shabby here. I'm just gonna go with a basic shrug. No gremlin knob for us. Instead, we face sentries with a turn one bomb draw. I can just go bomb second wind. I guess I'll do that then. Now I feel like a chump for buying this fire potion, but it would have been really good against Gremlin Knob. So I shall not complain. Easy. Courier is here to give us a discount at shops. True Grid is here to let us get rid of more cards. And a block for a different number than the other ones? Yeah, I want this. And I guess I'll lose Power Potion? Or maybe just lose the Ancient Potion. Let's just lose this Ancient Potion. Courier's wearing a bag. Surely that counts. Oh, man. It's time to make some money. Although... Hold on, no, we can do this right. It's 80 gold if we do it right. Might have to be 60. We'll see. I'm not sure about the wizard here. If we draw a hand of greed now, we're okay. sure we can almost... No, I can't afford this, right? Because I still have to block. Hey, easy. Perfect. Okay, just play this. Lose... That. Take one more. So we get 80 gold and we take 2 damage. Beautiful. Hold on. Hold on. Be careful here. Jerksy, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Amazing. Quirky says, I asked ChatGPT to generate a new silent card. Stalker's Strike. One energy, deal 10 damage to a random enemy. If the enemy is already weakened, apply two vulnerable. If the enemy is already vulnerable, apply two weak. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's really cool. Wonder if you could just have a mod that Chat GPT designed for you. It's the effect is quite strong, but the because it hits a random enemy, it's it's all kinds of useless in certain fights. But in any fight where there's only one enemy, it's like super good. Ooh, Reckless Charge Combust. The second one's a Reckless Charge real bad. Newer, fresher Power Potion, please. And I upgrade the Reckless Charge.
Okay. I believe me. Yeah, I believe me. I'm just not sure why. Why do I believe me? Alright, head about the battle trance for Shruzies. Um delete everything in the deck? Hmm. That would definitely be a fun way to do this. Actually, that feels about right. Yeah, let's go True Grit Second Wind. And then actually blocking 35 sounds pretty good to me, quite frankly. I could block 38, but I want to block 35. second wind anymore. Again, could block more, but taking one sounds perfect. <laughs> Xander Monkey, thanks for seven months of support. You're heckin' welcome to the content. Dorin, thanks for three months. The Spire. Alright, and this will be the last damage we take. I suppose. GG. It's really showing that we can just slap pretty much any enemy around if we get the blood for blood discounted and then draw it over and over again. It's a very, very strong card. And what if we found a card that both made blood for blood cheaper and drew us more cards? What would we think of that? I think it, we would think that it would be pretty freaking sweet, which makes offering very, very nice. Immolate also very powerful here in that it hits every enemy. Uh, can be headbutt back on top of the deck, and we have definitely got ways to deal with the status card, too. Immolate would also be pretty dang sweet here, but I doubt it's going to be as sweet as Offering. Clicky clicky the Offering. Come on, Brink Cube? Question mark? Well, it's not Velvet Joker, that's for sure. It's either Fusion Hammer to give us extra energy every turn, or Black Star to make Elites drop extra relics. Quite frankly, this deck operates very well on its limited energy. We have astoundingly good turn ones, thanks to the relic setup and really good purchasing power. I think Black Star is a very takeable choice here. But I think Fusion Hammer would also serve pretty well. Bag Star. Crabblood says, says, Offering is very difficult for me to not just impulsively take when you see it. I, I wouldn't call you wrong. The only thing I'll say is that you shouldn't impulsively draw, play it when you draw it. Because you don't always need the Offering to win the fight. And if you can avoid playing it, you should. 
Twitch Spire extension is back up and online, Spirit Sparrow. You should be playing uh, with uh, Slay the Relics right now. You should be able to mouse over everything on stream and see it just as it used to be. I'm taking the Black Star here. Black Star Courier is a, a really nice recipe for long term value. Question is how many elites can we face? Three, if we dare face the Burning Elite at the beginning of Act Two. That is quite a bold choice. Let's see how the fights go. Honestly, if I can get to the shop with good health, I think we can do it. Magister Rays, thanks for three months. Loving the YouTube content. Heck yeah. Cullen's in, thanks for four. The Bag Star. It's in the bag. Will the thieves get my bag? Blind, tri trip, or dark shackles? Actually, a really tough choice here. Ooh. Hmm. They're already vulnerable turn one. Let's go dark shackles. So I'm thinking bash, second wind. Dark Shackles. Full blocks. More vulnerable on this one. Although if I just second wind, we will take two, which might be a good thing. Two would save me an energy, rather than full blocking. Is there a way to take one? I don't think so. Okay. Take two. Again, we could have full block, but I'm choosing not to. Ironclad things. I might need those blocks. Let's just destroy this. Excellent. Do we want to headbutt anything before I play Offering? No, I just want to play it. Actually, I could headbutt the Reckless Charge. That would make my life pretty easy. Okay, let's do that. Should have a kill here. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't bad. Speed potion. Havoc plus. Twin strike plus or drop kick. Normally, I am not much one for a card like Havoc, but with a headbutt and a free upgrade and a three energy deck, it sure looks tempting. And a lot of card draw, too. Merc, thanks for the seven months. Would we buy a real hand agreed in the shop? With Courier? I think so, yeah. I think we would. This is cool. Continue to leave potions on the ground for now. Hello. Uh, pay up to pass. Early Red Mask is actually huge here. Giving us weak turn one is going to make the Elite a lot less threatening. Especially if it's slavers, and I'm certainly not going to give up all of my courier money right before the store. So we fight. How about you pay me? Uh, this might be Enlightenment for turn one, but Apotheosis is also not too bad here. Let's go Enlightenment. That lets me play Blood for Blood and Bash for cheap, and in the Impervious for cheap too, if we want to. Okay, here's Headbutts. Seems unlikely I can win this fight without using the offering, especially with this opening hand, so let's start with this. Hmm. 
think we just draw two. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we got blood for blood. Perfect. So we blood for blood. Slap. Head boot, blood for blood. Play it again. Slap. Second win, all this garbage. Good fight. So we didn't take any damage there. Just played Offering and then got six health back. Warcry. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Normally, Warcry is... not that good of a card. It's okay at best. However, when you have a Havoc... Putting a card on top of your draw pile is pretty desirable as an effect, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into the deck here. Yeah, normally such a nothing card, but the combos. Now we just need a demon form to cheat into play, or a barricade would be great too. Oh! We could get... Jax? Wait a minute, Jax does damage to us and gives us strength. That is actually ideal. But another re very reasonable option, gain strength on turn one. With vulnerable and such. We have yet to master Jax, so... It seems that we will need to uh, keep taking the drugs so that the opportunity to Master Jax might arise. He's juicing. He's juicing. So let's let's test the Jax. A man hands over a dangerous looking syringe filled with glowing liquid before skulking off into a shadowy alleyway. So, lose three health to gain two strength. Upgraded becomes three strength. Bird nerds. Um, maybe I'll have energy to spend on transmutation, but I kind of doubt it. This is not the kind of turn one you want to just ignore against birds, so I'm going to play offering here. Kill the middle one. Seems pretty reasonable. Maybe should have just played the transmutation there. So yeah, normally this would be an issue, right? Easy. Blood for Blood to be cheaper, mainly. Uh, so we can go Reckless Charge, Headbutt the Reckless Charge. Draw the Reckless Charge again. Nice. And then this turn kind of sucks, huh? Hmm. Transmutation, save me! Dang it. Well, it was going so well, Twitch Jet. Now. 
At least Blood for Blood's free. Hey, Blood for Blood potion. And a Shrug Plus? Deal. Okay, yeah, we're good to go to this shop. Because we can just drink the Blood Potion, buy a new potion. There's the hand agreed. However... I also see self-forming clay, which seems kind of important. There's also brutality. And medical kit. Stunna, thanks for the full year of support. Twelve heckin' months. It's like a genuinely good clash if I take the medical kit. <laughs> Well, sort of, because then the burning pack gets really weird with it. <laughs> Odd. But yeah, this relic here, whenever you lose HP, get three block next turn. Very, very, very good. With two cards that damage us and a blood for blood. <laughs> Gremlin horn underneath would be pretty sweet, too. Could also go card removal. Somewhat tempting. Though I think I'd rather have the extra health going into this gauntlet of elites. Lock pot over liquid memories? Maybe liquid memories is better. Well, let's just go block pot. We've got the damage. We've got the damage. I, def I don't actually want to clash, right? No, I don't actually want to clash. This is a good fight for Apotheosis. Just upgrade the whole thing, really? Tell you what, put the bash on top. And hit me for two. I like it. Seems completely reasonable. Alright, so we play the offering. Go Battle Trance Havoc. Havoc's a little blind here, but... Oh well. Get rid of a wound, actually pretty good. Draw four. Blood for Blood. Headbutt the Blood for Blood again. Play Impervious, because I can get away with it now. Easy. Burning Elite, no problem. Look at that. Potions, who needs them? Get a mummified hand and a molten egg. Seems good. And a corruption. Also seems good. Does Clay always ever had a red outline like that? No, that's part of our Mastery Challenge uh, tracker mod. The red outline here indicates that we have actually not won a run with self-forming Clay yet. Today's the day, I think. Bonus merchants. <laughs> Offering me the second havoc. Interesting. Or I could remove, which is also very good. I'll burn a strike. And I'm feeling good. Let's fight two more elites. I want all the relics, please. We took Black Star. I'm gonna use it. I 
Having Headbutt Havoc in my hand is pretty sweet. Can double play one of our cards. Probably the True Grit is what I'm thinking. Let's draw one more first. Second Wind. Okay. This will kill, right? Yeah, 16. Good. And I can either Burning Pact or play the Strike. I think I'll Burning Pact. Just exhausting down a bit is a good idea here. way. Draw that daze. Thanks. Alright, we can always corruption blood for blood next turn. Just make sure you die then. Note that Corruption makes all the skills in hand free, and then the Mummy Hand chooses a target, so that was guaranteed zero cost blood for blood. Blood for Blood yet. I don't want to double play Reckless either, actually. Let's just stop there. free this turn. Hold on. Fine. Get rid of this one, too. And get rid of that, actually, also. Oh, we should have done that earlier. Alright, we really need to end this fight as soon as we can. Get rid of some of this bad stuff. Just want to be able to double blood for blood here if possible. Good enough. Gremlin leader, more like gremlin bleeder. Yeah, I wonder if dark embrace would be good. How about four free block per turn? And the ability to gain max health from getting cursed. And a second blood for blood when we haven't mastered blood for blood, apparently. Okay. Seems good to me. Let's go and resign again. Any tips to win with the silent? Let's see. Silent guide. No? Shoot. Wait, it's just silence? There we go. I've got a breakdown of every card in Slay the Spire. There's also a video on my YouTube. Uh, how to win or how to beat the heart as silent. Uh, which is a really good intro to the, the class in general. Silent is uh, definitely trickiest in Act 1. Uh, getting her started with a decent damage plan can be very, very difficult to wrap your head around, but once you can figure that out, uh, it's a little bit easier to get going. Ooh, healing. I like healing. I like healing a lot. An ocean of potions await us thanks to Toy Ornithopter here. Healing us per potion use. I think that's going to be pretty dang good. Uh, and quite frankly, I'd like to upgrade Jax. Why not? Why not? Ooh. Let's make some money together, Twitch chat.
How's it going, Mordborn? Thought you'd try me live. Well, hello and welcome to the live show. Please enjoy the nonsense that is about to occur. I'm going to headbutt the battle trance. I'm going to try to triple hand agree these cultists. Get some serious cash to work with the courier here. Speaking of, I owe the chat a dad joke. What do you call it when the merchant decides to give his mouse a different job? A courier change. This is just Strike Strike, Reckless, Second Wind. No shame in Havoking, though. Yeah, and now we're drugs. Beautiful, beautiful drugs. Got that too. No, uh, triple hand agreed for us. Hopefully we can do a double, though. Good enough. We haven't mastered this either. Sure. I think I'll take an event rather than a combat here. We still have two good potions for the elite. It's an upgrade. Don't mind if I do. I'm thinking Burning Pact, Warcry, and Offering are all good upgrades. We could maybe think about Corruption, too. Make it cheaper to get into play initially. But let's start with the reusable card draw. Burning Pact. We'll go straight into the elite fight. It's a rematch. Against the Book of Stabbing. Chrysalis and Bomb are both nice with Corruption. Let's take Bomb. Maybe we'll get to play it. If we're lucky here. We do! Excellent. Excellent. Bash got made free as well. Excellent. So play that. I can second win to full block. Do I even care about offering anymore? Let's see if I can do without. Not actually sure I can, but I'm curious. Once again, potions proving unnecessary. We're at 60% to find one. I'm going to use this for the 5 health. Worst fire potion ever. Yeah, we got a potion back. Bottled Tornado means we can have corruption in the opening hand. Rage is kind of interesting. I don't mind bottling corruption here one bit. And if I have a bottle of corruption, I might as well take a flame barrier, right? Do I have pl any plans to play the last spell? No. Cool looking game, but not for me.
For fun, you see. Perhaps needed to play... No, nah, we're fine. Easy. Thought maybe I needed to play Offering last turn, but uh, it seems like it worked out. Well, until this turn... This is where the block pot comes in, huh? Very well. So close. Get him, Mayhem. Gotta take damage to make damage. Or something. Gotta drink potions to find potions. A while ago I would have said anger would be really good for this deck, but now that we have double blood for blood, double reckless charge, I don't think it's necessary anymore. Had we in a barricade and trench be okay. Don't need it though. Card draw. Actually, Corruption Bottled means the upgrade on Corruption's a lot better. Sure. I don't think I want Snekawai in this deck. If we're trying to draw and play Blood for Bloods over and over again, we do not want to be re-randomizing them. Trip actually seems quite good against Champ, as much as uh, Hand of Greed might be tempting here. Trip for more Volnup time seems exceptional. This actually seems like a fight where we really ought not to play Corruption. We don't want to... Exhaust all of our skills. We want to be able to play the Blood for Bloods for free. Over and over again is what we want. I'm going to do my best to set that up. By exhausting all the bad stuff. Like these defense. And quite frankly, this corruption. this bash. Nothing really bad I could hit there. Okay. Good. Get rid of this. Take one. Seems fine to me. Both of these reckless charges. Not 
quite ready to go ham yet. Few more cards to delete. Now is a good time. So, blood for blood, battle trance. Blood for blood again. Havoc, hitting the other blood for blood. Get rid of this. Keep this. I've deleted one too many attacks here. It's okay, we got this, we got this. We can no longer afford Havoc to be really a thing, except for maybe next turn. Don't worry about it, just get rid of it. Move that back. Probably should have played this. I'll do it anyway. Impossible, he says. This turn we're not weakened. Okay, perfect. We go trip, blood for blood, headbutt the blood for blood, draw it again. Only 51 damage, but we've got drugs to make it a kill. GG. Second offering, immolate plus or feed plus. Ooh, feed plus to get chonkier is kind of nice. Second offering, not too bad. I think I want offering. Overfeed here. Ooh, an empty cage, mark of pain, or cursed key. Cursed Key says we get cursed for opening a non-boss chest. Empty Cage removes two cards. And the Mark of Pain says gain energy at the start of each combat, but add two wounds. Empty Cage to dunk two strikes is rather interesting, especially with a uh, bottled corruption mummy hand. We can definitely manufacture our energy elsewhere. Deck is really looking for uh, Feel No Pain Dark Embrace. Thankfully, with Courier, we have uh, pretty good odds of finding those. I definitely like the remove, too. Yeah, let's do it. Three energy per turn, no problem. Not for us. Already taken down the Burning Elite. How many Elites can we get this act? Three again, as well as shops. Excellent. I take 999 gold for two normalities? Probably. Very probably. Yeah, especially when the shops are here and here, right? Yeah, I would. Cool. Let's actually mark that in red. Maybe this way? Something free. <laughs> Raffle Stalker, thanks for the three months of support. How the time flies. Five. To 
boosted. Trying to win this without doing more damage to myself than I was going to heal, but it doesn't seem like it worked out that way. Mostly worked out. Second Havoc, if we want it. With Bottled Corruption, it really doesn't matter whether it's upgraded or not. Why not? Deck definitely wants some card draw quite desperately. The battle trance we have is. I mean, we've got offerings and such, but. We really want a uh, Dark Embrace or something similar. Ow. back there. Power through. It's a useful block th effect, but the wounds are definitely a problem for us at the moment. Elixir is interesting. Feels unnecessary. Alright, Darklings match number two. Panache ought to help. Panache definitely ought to help. Toasted. Let's do that. It's less than playing offering, I guess. I don't know if that was actually better, but here we are. Win 351, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Population U. Body slam. Yeah, actually. Offered winding halls. We could receive two madnesses. Or lose some max health. I think we're just gonna lose the max health. And last event. Don the red mask. Gain 222 gold. Alright, this shop is gonna be loaded. All we have to do is beat one giant head. How difficult could it possibly be? Winky face. Let's go. 
get rid of all these cards. Hopefully can't afford to not play the offerings and the jacks. Shrew's easier. This would be a good turn to go absolutely ballistic. Stupid nonsense. Rip. Third blood for blood? Terra Rash, thanks for the pro tier one sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. How about a fiend fire? Fiend fire with strength. Still missing the exhaust energy though. Maybe the shop will have some. Dear shop, dark embrace, please. Evolve might have to do, especially if I take a third reckless charge. I also like buying the evolve because there'll be another power under underneath it. What does it mean for a card to be mastered? Mastered is a self-imposed challenge. Uh, for the channel here. To master a card, we have to beat the game on Ascension 20 versus the heart with two or more instances of that card in our deck. So to master a Reckless Charge, we have to win a run with two Reckless Charge in the deck, which is what we currently have. So we're, we're seeking to get duplicate copies of unmastered cards, essentially. We're trying to do this for every different card in the whole game. There it is, Dark Embrace, whenever a card is exhausted. Draw one card. That's all we needed, Mr. Merchant. The card draw engine is now fully online, and we can break the whole game. Although now I regret not buying the medical kit. Because we'd have an actual infinite with the uh, medical kit. That's pretty funny. Anything to remove? Honestly, not really. Remove the Evolve now, it's done its job. <laughs> You're not wrong. Could take Sling of Courage for some bonus strength in elite fights. That's not too shabby. If I remove Bash, I have no vulnerable at all, which I'm not quite sure I want to do. Sentinel's not too bad. I think we'll buy the Sling. Oh, that's what's underneath the sling. It's a dead branch. Oh, I guess I'll buy that. <sighs> With bottled corruption, by the way. Yeah, I want to upgrade Dark Embrace. Alright, we'll go this way. Blue candle. Amazing. If only. Can heart just give up? It really ought to. For there is no hope. For the poor heart. Or for the poor Reptomancer. Another burning pact. <laughs> One of those iron clatter runs. It's beautiful. All right, can we get the revenge turn one kill against Giant Head with bonus hand agreed value? Question mark. Question mark exclamation point. What if there was two corruptions?
don't think this quite works. But I can headbutt the hand grenade. I'll make money off you if it's the last thing I do. Sundial. We shuffle the deck three times, we'll gain energy. With, without Dead Branch, that could have allowed for some absolutely nonsensical stuff. With Dead Branch, not quite as much so, but still pretty absurd. Sure, I'll take the sad nature. Second headbutt, second flame barrier. I'll take one more flame barrier. Basically, no such thing as too many skills when you have dead branch corruption. You essentially just want to be able to play as many as possible. Glowing Tesseract. This is a good opportunity to master some colorless cards. If we can find anything in duplicate, anything at all, we should really consider it. Alas, not so. Flash of Steel Plus ain't too bad. Secret Technique ain't too bad. Purity helps, too, with uh, with all the exhaust energy. Is this the strongest build in the game, asks Ielcor. I, I think it'd be kind of hard to pin a definition down on strongest. There are, there are certain things this deck can struggle against. Uh, Time Eater, for example, where your cards per turn are limited. And there's absolutely some very, very broken things you can do with uh, some of the other characters or some of the other builds. Like a plus 100 Searing Blow, for example, or a, a really powerful Ritual Dagger, or Storm Heat Sinks Mummy Hand on Defect can be ridiculous, too. There's a lot of breakable stuff. Sure, we'll take all those. Speaking of Time Eater, we're about to face Time Eater here. And if we can't play exactly 12 cards per turn, we could definitely find ourselves struggling in this fight. I think for the most part, we're going to have a relatively easy time. I'll even play Jax twice here. Now you're just asking for it. Bean fire. <laughs> foolish, foolish on turn two. Cute. Play one demon form for free, it creates and then makes free the second demon form instantly. What? Double demon form, go. That's great. Mm 
That's amazing. Uh, yeah, that or whatever. Doesn't even matter. Get rid of all the garbage. Do the thing. They implored. You mean this thing? Actually, wait, is this enough? No, it's not. Alright, well, let's try this then. Nice. All right, on to Joni Wendeka, who will not be nearly as uh, nearly as challenging as the Time Eater. Seems fine. Good in this fight. Theoretically, we can make using our magnetism hand agreed and make some money here. In practice, I don't think I'm going to bother. Thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing red could be felt out the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this silliness? Mr. Master Sink, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. We are missing a few hit points, but I think because we have Tornithopter, I'm not going to bother with a rest when I could simply upgrade. I'm guessing Impervious for 10 more block is probably best. Flame barrier upgrades are okay. Most of the rest doesn't matter that much. Four block and more damage. I'll upgrade the uh, impervious. We didn't get dead branch? Yes, I think we still would be winning very, very decisively. Instead of generating infinite nonsense cards, we'd be cycling the blood for blood and reckless charge and body slam over and over and over again and doing absurd things with that. So many Havocs offered this run. Always expands on the right, uh, Oju. It can actually go off the right side of the screen. It just keeps going. We're close to mastering Havoc. As long as we win this run, we'll have uh, we'll have mastered Havoc. Uh, Ancient Pot sounds nice, actually. Although these potions are pretty good, too. Gambler's Brew is real strong-like. 
Alright, I'll just lose the... I'll lose Bash. We don't need no Bash. Blood, Headbutt, Havoc it? Because it's now three cost, right? Kill it full. Even with that damage. What have I done? Exhume the seeing red, keep going. Behold, clash. Heron's Ashes, would we exhaust a card, deal three damage to the heart, and another three damage per turn from the hourglass, just to add insult to injury. And yeah, Bloodletting seems probably pretty good. I don't think I need an energy potion now. Life's good. What's my plan for turn two? You assume there's going to be a turn two. Well, yeah, there'll, there'll be a turn two. But there's some ways to do good things on turn two. For example, what if I just took an absolute buttload of damage this turn? Like a fool. Like some kind of maniac. I just lost all of my health this turn. Hmm. I'm going to be vulnerable anyway. Sorry, the only point of health that matters is the last one. We want to have some modicum of restraint here. Oh, there we go. Feel no pain, Juggernaut. Dark Embrace. Disarm. Just never don't be vulnerable. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. So, we get 33 block at the start of this turn. And then some more. Purity deletes slime, wound, burn. Not bad. I guess I'll play demon form. Why not, right? Keep drawing. But Havoc, what? A couple good options here. This body slam will work just fine.
All right. Good turn. Look at the one flame barrier, huh? That's truly tragedy. Nine energy somehow. Bars are overlapping the power. More. All attacks. Activate Kunai with Clash. Get in there, Mercury Hourglass. Good work. Well, Twitch chat. His poor heart. He's gone. GG. Be free, my fairy friend. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.